Hello friends, this is Akash Kaushik from Learn Program with Akash Kaushik. And in this video, I am going to show you a complete program of Stack that will um, help you to understand Stack completely or in your practical exam also because in practical exam, you have to make complete program on Stack and Q. So let's start the discussion. So uh, if you watch my video on Stack function writing, according to uh, exam point of view then you will easily able to understand this program so basically first of all i have included some header file iostream process.h for exit function corner.h and stdi.h then a structure of name stack which is containing four elements basically one is uh, student number of type integer student name of type character or string percentage of type float and a pointer of stack type basically self-referential pointer of type stack then top which is pointing to null in stack basically top is used uh, top is a pointer which points to the topmost element of array then i have made a three function push display and pop push to perform insertion display to display the value of the stack elements and pop to perform deletion so in push function same kind of coding which you have learned in stack function writing question a temporary node is created then values are take uh, take an input from the user if top equal to null top equal to temp else temp uh, temp arrow next is equal to top and top is equal to temp and pop function is also containing the same coding which I have used in stack function writing. One more function is added display, which in which we are passing a pointer of type stack as an argument. Uh, then the pointer np is will run a while np not equal to null and it will print element of uh, st uh, value of stack elements one by one. First is student number, npr is student number npr on student name npr percentage and then np will go to the next uh, np equal to npr on next basically the last element of stack will point to null so np is starting from the first element and will run up to the last element and will print values of elements one by one so these are basically three functions which i am using in this program push pop and display in display function while calling display function we will pass top as an argument so that the np will start running from the first element top and then it will run up to the last element up to np not equal to null okay these are the three functions now let's come to the main function in main function i have created a menu basically stack menu one for push in stack two for display three for pop and four for exit then taking choice from the user out of one two three four if the choice is passed to the switch operation if case one if choice is one then push function will be called if choice is two then display is called choice is three then pop and if choice is four then exit function will be called and by default wrong choice entered and to make the program runnable again and again i have put the code into a while loop char choice equal to y initially i am assigning choice with variable y loop will start run if value of choice is capital y or small y depending on the user and after first execution i am asking to the user if you want to continue then he will enter the value of choice either y or n if he presses y then loop will again start its execution and again the same value will be displayed to the user so this is just a simple menu driven program for stack let's run the program so initially stack menu will be displayed push in stack display pop and exit uh, let's start with the push function and the detail of student student number one name akash percentage 95 you want to continue yes then let me display the value option 2 
values are displayed again i can press yes then again let's insert one more value push in stack details 2 kaushik 98 yes again display stack then both the values are displayed here student number 2 student number 1 basically in stack insertion is done from top so new element will be added on top of stack so that's why student value of student number 2 is appearing over student number 1 and let's try pop operation so basically in stack element which was inserted in last will be popped out first so after pressing uh, after calling the pop function it will delete the second student number name basically the details of student number two will be deleted yes let's display the stack again so only last the first value only the detail of akash student will be left in the stack press again yes and for for exit so this is simple example by which you can create a stack program or to make it more understandable you can more understand you can watch my video on stack function writing so that you will be able to understand the push and pop functions completely and then just a display function will be created and you have just to create a menu in which you will call the function one by one according to users choice so thank you so much guys for watching my video please do like comment and subscribe if you like my video thank you so much